I've always wanted to create a swag store for my Discord community. You know, shirts, hoodies, the basic stuff. Unfortunately, I didn't really know how to get started, so I just put it off for a couple of years. But now I've finally done it, and it was way easier than I thought it would be. So let me show you how I created my e-commerce store using Wix Studio and Printful. And at the end, I'll show you one mistake that a lot of people make when creating swag that hopefully you can avoid and save lots of money. All right, let's start from the beginning. There's basically two different ways that you can create a swag store. The first option is to find a good printing company and print a bunch of swag, then handle inventory, handle sales, handle shipping, packing the boxes, etc. Now the bright side of this is the cost for those individual items is probably going to be a little bit less than the second option we'll talk about in a second. The downside though is this takes a lot of effort on your part and a lot of manual labor to pack the boxes, tape the boxes, and send them off to the destination. Now, the second option is to use a dropship company, a company that both produces your swag and then ships it out for you. This means that you're not responsible for maintaining inventory lists, you're not responsible for packing boxes, and you're not responsible for handling shipping. This is the bright side. The downside is this may cost a little bit more, but for me, that is totally worth it to save me the time and energy that it takes to manually ship and pack boxes. Now, the other thing you need to think about is on the software side. How do you handle purchases? How do you handle payments? How do you handle getting the user users information, credit cards, all those things. This would actually take a lot of work to build from scratch, something that I wanted to avoid personally. I did a little research on YouTube and I found several like four hour long tutorials building all that stuff yourself. And that's not something I wanted to do. I wanted to create this as quickly as possible so that my community could order swag. So instead of writing all of that code myself, I decided to use two platforms that have been doing this for a long time. Printful to handle the creation and shipping of swag and Wix the Studio, the sponsor of this video to build a website that integrates with Printful in just a few clicks. So to get started, you'll need to create an account with Wix Studio and then you can open up your workspace to create a new site. In this case, I'll start from scratch so I can show you every step along the way. While that's loading, I just wanted to call out that you could also start from a template and they have some specifically made for e-commerce that you can scroll through and look at as well. Now, I didn't use this for my use case because my website is very simple, but if you want a little bit more done for you, this is a great place to start. Once you get your site created, you can go in and edit anything as you want. You can customize the fonts, the colors, the layout, etc. We'll kind of gloss over this for now because I want to focus more on the e-commerce part, but if you're looking for great resources to get really deep into the design, the Codex Community YouTube channel is a perfect place to start. From here, we can use the app marketplace to add plugins to handle the e-commerce part for us. So here we'll search for the Wix Stores plugin, and can select that and go ahead and add it to our site. Now this plugin is gonna do a ton of stuff for us. If you go into your pages directory now, you can see that it's created pages for categories and carts and thank you, et cetera. And then we also have the ability to just drag on this store widget, which will show a list or a grid of all the items in our store. You can also test this out and see that it's responsive for mobile design, tablet, and desktop. So it's gonna look good on any sort of device that your users are using. This is only using dummy data to start, but now we can integrate this with Printful to be able to connect to real products. Now, just like we did before, we can go back to the app marketplace and search for the Printful integration. Once we find that and add it to our site, we'll need to go through the configuration to make sure that Wix has access to Printful. Now, I've already created my account, so I can go ahead and connect this here, but if you don't have one, you can create a free account with Printful to get started. Now we can use this Printful account to create products and then add them to our Wix store. You can start by just browsing the product catalog to see all the different things that Printful allows you to, to create. Then you'll need to create product templates for the things that you actually wanna sell. Now in this case, I've got shirt, water bottle, stickers, etc. And for any individual items, you can go in and edit it and change the text or resize logos or whatever you want to make sure it's exactly the type of swag that you wanna create. Now, once you have all those product templates created, it's time to add those products to your Wix store. Now notice Wix actually created the store inside of Printful. And once you select the store that you just created and go to your product templates, you can choose whichever of these products that you've created to add to that specific store. So you choose one of these products, you'll need to go through the final details to make sure it's ready. So you need to confirm colors and sizes. And then when you go to mockups, you can choose which picture to display of how this thing is gonna look on what type of figure or without a person, et cetera. Then you'll wanna make sure your description is correct and your sale prices. Now one tip, if you wanna actually make money from this is to actually charge more than the Printful price so that you earn money yourselves. If you wanna leave this at cost to your users so it's as cheap as possible, feel free to do that. But it's also helpful to make a few dollars to continue to pay for the fees to continue to do this. 
Once you've thought through that pricing and confirmed, you can go ahead and submit that to the store and you'll see this product actually show up under your store inside of Printful. Now from here, you can add more products and I'll just kind of speed through creating a t-shirt here, adding that in. You can do this for as many products as you want and we'll see in a second, this is actually gonna go into the store that displays inside of Wix. So you can see I added a t-shirt and a water bottle and I've got all the products that I need for now. So back in Wix Studio, I can go and manage the products and you'll see that those three new ones that I created are now showing up, which is exactly what we want. Now we don't need the rest of the dummy data, so we can actually go and deselect the rest of them or select the rest of them and delete those. This way we're only working with the products that we want to show up on our store. Now if we go back to the homepage and refresh, we can confirm that we only see our products. Let's have a look around to see what everything looks like. If we go back and hit the preview button, we can actually interact with the site as is. So we can see the list of products, we can see the details of the product, then we can actually add these to a cart and see what the cart experience looks like as well. All this is taken care of through those two integrations that we just added in the marketplace, so that's a bunch of work that we don't have to worry about. Now, if you try to actually check out, it'll give you a notification that you need a premium subscription to be able to actually handle payments on your e-commerce site. Now Wix, as the sponsor of this video, did provide me with a paid subscription, which is required to handle processing of payments in a Wix store. Regardless though, as you'll see in this video, it's well worth it to pay that monthly subscription to offset the time and energy it would take for you to code all of this stuff from scratch. You can take a look at the pricing page to see what this will cost you to be able to sell stuff using Wix e-commerce. Now, one thing to factor in, as we mentioned before, is to charge a little bit more for the stuff that you sell so that you make money to be able to cover the cost of this service. Now there's a couple more things you'll need to do before you can actually start selling items on the internet. The first thing is to fill in your tax information because you're gonna be making money on this and unfortunately you're gonna to have to be taxed. Now you can do that inside of the Wix dashboard. What I did was use my Learn, Build, Teach LLC and just track it under that. From there, the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is set up a custom domain. Now I have learnbuildteach.com as a domain inside of Namecheap, but I have a learnbuildteach.com website that is hosted on Netlify. So inside of Namecheap, I basically point the records to Netlify and let Netlify be the name server for my domain. So let's see how I configured inside of Netlify to be able to point back to Wix Studio for a subdomain of store.learnbuildteach.com. Now you can start inside of the Wix Studio dashboard and tell it which domain you wanna to connect to. In my case, it's a subdomain of store.learnbuildteach.com. Now it's then gonna ask you if you wanna transfer ownership of that domain to Wix. In this case, we don't wanna do that so we can say no thanks. And then for me, what I did was go to my deployed site inside of Netlify. I went to domain management and then went to the aliases or the C panel to be able to show you all the records that I created. So inside of the DNS panel, you can see I have a couple of records at the top for store.learnbuildteach.com. But basically these are the two records that you're going to need to have to be able to associate the subdomain store.learnbuildteach.com with your Wix site. And lastly, the most important part is now you have to tell Wix what kind of payments you're going to accept and how you want to get paid. Now you can see that I've got several different things that are active for checkout right now. Interestingly, they also have a Wix point of sale where they can send you hardware and you can take payments that way. For me, when I handle my payouts though, I'm gonna take that through PayPal. After a few seconds of logging in and confirmation, I'm now able to agree and connect PayPal to my Wix account. Now, one additional thing that I think could be useful is Velo by Wix, which allows you to write custom code for your sites in Wix Studio and really add any sort of logic that you think might be missing with code. Now, a couple of examples that are specific to the e-commerce section, they even have Wix e-com APIs that you can dive into. One is around calculating shipping rates. You can also determine custom discount triggers. So if you wanna give people specific discounts based on how many things they buy or something like that, you can add on additional fees, add custom validations, basically anything that you want to do inside of code, either Wix gives you APIs or the ability to write that code yourself to be able to add that functionality into your site. And with all of that configured, you're now ready to push publish and have your e-commerce store available to the world. Now I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I had one big gotcha that I wanted to share with you so that you don't make this mistake. And this tip is to print some of the stuff for yourself first before you then sell it to other people. And the reason is I printed a couple of things and I didn't really love the way they turned out. I didn't love the location of the text. I don't love the spacing of the text. And I wanna tweak those things to make sure that they are as perfect as possible before I start selling these things for other people. So regardless of who you work with to print and or ship your stuff, make sure you print a few things beforehand, get it in person, make sure it feels like good quality, that things line up the way you expect and everything looks exactly right before you publish your site broadly for the world to be able to purchase your swag. So that's how I created my e-commerce store for my Learn, Build, Teach Discord community. 
using Wix Studio and Printful. Again, I was super intimidated by this to start because I didn't know where or how to start, but this made it really, really easy to use these two products that take care of so much work for me. And I can just go in and create this stuff that I want and basically hit publish and I'm good to go. So hopefully now you feel more confident in creating an e-commerce store for yourself. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you next time.